And as we do all the time, ladies and gentlemen, we are Little Clemson. We are friendly, Mark. We like you to wave at the pilots, particularly on their last lap. And I will explain when that is, because they love to know that you appreciate them. I don't know whether you know that uh, the collective noun for pilots is an ego of pilots. So make sure they get rewarded as they go round. T28, 1,300 horsepower in a very, very big radial. The product of the North American company in where else but the United States, at Inglewood, California. This aeroplane was developed post-war as a trainer that was used further on in its career in the ground attack role. And the Fennec, the example you see in front of you now, was used by the French in the Algerian War of Independence. Our aeroplane is called Little Rascal, and Ray, who very oddly puts down here his age, he's 62. After the way he behaves. The Trojan. Ray performing as ever beautifully with this big machine. Mid 50s. polite our pilots they always uh, wish to wave at you and it's great if you can do it back <laughs> giving me bomb steers ladies and gentlemen from the right our yak ha. both in russian aeroplane code name for nato as the moose the horns a lot lot better than the moose And these aeroplanes can take considerable punishment. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, Angie Sofa in the Yak. And as the third team come out in front of us, give them a wave, these are one of the motorcycles. Oh, 
probably hitting over 300 miles an hour in that pass. Mark Jeffries spiraling the aeroplane about this beautiful sky. All he can see is blue. Now all he can see is Cambridgeshire. And if he looks from side to side, 20 miles in either direction, he's got a fantastic horizon. This is a day for flying. Mark later on in an extra 300 doing much more high powered aerobatics but this in a classic like this is positively lyrical. Mark tipping the wing showing you the cockpit that wonderful wing shape and now all that energy is converted into height Pull, 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 up, 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 holding the aeroplane gracefully, round, round, a beautiful loop, and a twist off it. Straight, the Yakovlev company who ended up making jet fighters and even airliners came back to the on. world of primary space. Mark is in the sky that he knows so well to the full. I'm seeing it. The one on the left or the left or the right? It's the one in front as we look at it, actually. Oh, OK. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, and I've realised I've started this far too early. <laughs> From the right, in a couple of minutes' time, in front of you, <laughs> the, the Tiger Club turbulent team from Headcorn. Give them a wave, give them a clap. I think they'll hear you. So, keep going. <laughs> Fabulous. Hi, guys. Now, we can send a clue to him. What he does, they do. That's the entire essence of formation flying. Oh. OK, we're now going to get some of the third and fourth formation. And a slight turn change there. In fact, the one has dropped back slightly. <laughs> OK. Now, you can see the... the the on-proud wind is causing them yeah. some problems, but they're doing remarkably well in these very light aeroplanes. Not really like it. Uh, more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine they're tremendous fun. Over the years, the team have enjoyed presenting themselves all, all over the country. And of course, it's quite a hike from Kent in something like this. So a couple of, couple of displays a year, then. <laughs> OK. Like us, really. I, I really think that's apparent to everybody right. here. So they're going round again, doing what they just did a couple of minutes ago. God, I've told them not to be so cynical. Oh, I've done. Oh, I'm getting away. Jockey into position now, I think. Change of formation here. Well, you can have a real close look at it. Say, yes, that is the important taken. I think what you're seeing here is the old adage that time spent in reconnaissance is seldom wasted. <laughs> That's quite the performer. Absolutely. That sky is gorgeous. I remember skies like this, but it's never been in the United Kingdom. Uh, things are changing. September is going to be hot. Something spectacular going to happen. Oh, I think we're building to something here. 
Uh, get your cameras ready, because here it is. Up and boy, oh boy, how lovely. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes open. Because we're now into the limbo. Aerial limbo. We're into the uh then they've got to get out of the head check. As is he going to? Can he? Will he? Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, that's the I got half of this. Here we go. Into the round, the little in the middle. Oh, nice. Hello. Uh, uh, I went through there. I would think it was one I think it's just one of those from the right. Everybody needs to shout out from the right. It's light blue, it's yellow, it's red, and it's dark blue. There you go. It's going to be interesting. Quadrant leader here first. Nicely done. Nicely done. Two first. Number two. Number two, a little extra power as we go through. Oh, a little extra speed as we go through. Beautiful. Oh, okay, well done. Beautiful. It would be our goal now, wouldn't it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming back round again. Confidently finding that goal mouth now. Yes. I guess. Oh yes, here we go. These are lethal machines. That's going to be about 25 to 30 feet too, too long. Can I do the, the gag, John? Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, the flower they're using is a course plain flower. show ladies and gentlemen that should the uh, RAF ever need backup it's here with these completely unsmart bombs. <laughs> Self-exploding quite up there. Oh I don't think he's I don't think he's even seen it. No. Oh, he's oh, going that's going that's to go. Get your enemy inside. Which one's he gonna go for? He's going for the top one. Looking good, looking good. Oh, oh yes, no. that's it. Well, sir. Four more than an ace. This is a little flash. Oh, this is great. This one is before. There you go. Go on. Oh, yes. I'm going to do some of these balloons first. Only the little target drifting all the time. We no, missed it. Next one, can he get one? Number two, no. Oh, Another yellow one. Yes, he's got it. Firm in the sight. Yellow, oh, yellow. yellow. Yeah. Oh. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. You know how I've seen it? No, there's a match here. Blind up for this. Yeah, it's still the same. Yeah, it's really nice. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. There you are. Let's play real way that one. Yeah. The is going to be energy management all the way. 
No engine, just pure aerodynamics and pilot skill. Because he's going to give you a display and land on here. Purely using that beautiful wing. Keep your eye. And they're disconnecting very shortly. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mike Newman. And as he becomes a little bird. Don't go too far that way, otherwise he's going into the sun. We doubt it's going home tonight because I've got your key. Somebody has very kindly handed it in. If you've got a Citroen, check your keys. If you're missing it, please come to commentary. So, we now have Allied trainers and the German car. Now the Stiglitz. Gusman, you might know if you're a film buff like what I am. It was a vestment that was stolen in The Great Escape. If you remember in that, he too well, even though he could spot a pin on the floor huh. in his prison. And it was a young man that they stole and sadly crashed in their escape to get out of the prison. Coming through now from the left, the Ryan TC-22 and the miles. Nice slow run. Give him a wave, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful aeroplane. The first to be designed by Kurt Tank, who went on to design the Fox Wolf 190. Both of these aeroplanes designed for exactly the same role. You see the very different viewpoint. Very spindly undercarriage on the uh, the Ryan. variants that have been used to great effect during World War II. No matter what people might say about Air Force, they fought valiantly with good aeroplanes. The P246 was an extension of this fighter line. As far as I'm aware, only two flying in Europe, this one in World War II, Italian over the top, and the triple camouflage market. <laughs> Nick Richards flying this, and very, very ably. I like to see things quite fast later, yeah. Oh. 
225 horsepower Alpha in line on the front of this. A very sweet looking aeroplane. Down below, we have Holloway, and a good selection of aeroplanes to place the Berlin on the front street. Very clean lines, beautifully flown. Oh, I did it. Oh. Been doing ever since. We'll be closing our train of category, but here we go again with the fear. And from your right, I give you Ian Davis to the New Hamilton Canada Chipmunk. In the military and now adored and cherished as a civilian aeroplane. We spoke earlier of the Miles Magister and the Magister was designed, was designed to replace the Tiger Moth. The Tiger Moths remained in production throughout the war at Morris Motors at Cowley. And post-war, the Canadians decided to have a go at the very difficult task of replacing the Tiger. And they came up with this beautiful aeroplane, the Chipmunk. Totally neutral, and it found at times that getting hold of aircraft of any description was very difficult. And they developed a very good and very capable indigenous aircraft industry. The Pilatus Company made the P2 here its first major. Egypt post-war fighter for the Swiss, which was the P-51 Mustang. Place the Scottish Aviation Bulldog as our basic introductory trainer, and it's proved admirable for the role. In this day and age, the Royal Air Force doesn't own its basic trainers, they're operated and owned by VT Aerospace, hence the civilian registrations alongside the rounder. It's pay as you go.
Monte aerodynamics, and more importantly, the lightness of the structure allows a fairly basic engine to do some quite incredible manoeuvres. As you can see from that big canopy, side-by-side -side seating, the preferred method for basic instruction these days. They move like pockets, rocking. Now coming from actually from third centre, it's the Casa Midget Racers. low. Visibility from the uh, little canopy, very difficult, not a lot, much in the same way I suppose as a Formula One car racer. Very agile and hot. Teams organised by Richard Grace. Richard is the son of Carolyn and the late Nick Grace, famed for the Spitfire ML407, which operates out of Dutford. of the war. 22,000 plus Spitfires were created 1938 to 45. Says he's privileged to own such an iconic aeroplane and he is very keen to share it with the public whenever he possibly can and we thank him for this. Oh, Lancaster. You're Ladies and gentlemen, put your yeah. hands in the air. This aeroplane yeah. is exceptional. Ladies and gentlemen, let us remember all to Germany. Well, it's bomb let us also up. remember the Bomber Command was an organisation that was multinational. Today we are privileged and honoured to have with us members of the Canadian Armed Forces, both present day and from the past.
Our Lancaster is a salute to allied and Commonwealth endeavour. WR and regularly other Bomber Command squadrons are honoured by a repaint of the Lancaster. Ladies and gentlemen, from the left, back for the Grim Memorial flight of Royal Lancaster. Air show. I give you 405 Squadron, Canadian Armed Forces and their CP-140 Aurora. It's wheel stone now. Ladies and gentlemen, get your cameras ready. This is a one-off opportunity. A CP-140 demonstrating its capabilities to the full in the skies of Great Britain. The Aurora's mission is to patrol vast oceans, the Atlantic and of course the Pacific. And as you can see, she's no slouch. A capacious Bombay, Persona Boys, depth charges. They said yes, they could, and within 117 days, no less, they had managed to bring the prototype, the XP-51, into existence. Not messing around, it was in production seven months later.
Vultures and B-17 Flying Fortresses on their daylight missions into Europe. Exceptional quote. I don't often quote him, but he said that when he saw Mustangs over Berlin, he knew that the war was over. during the war, from both called grasshoppers, but mostly regarded as cubs. The British could discover tanks in a woodland and direct lethal artillery fire onto them within moments. The Germans were taught that if they saw a cub in the air, nobody fired, nobody so much as moved anything except their eyeballs. That was how lethal these aeroplanes were. The Cessna L19 Virgo. Oh, look at that. Holding it on the brakes, but up goes the tail. That's impressive. Fantastic. Well done, Justin. Thanks, sir. This airplane called Corpsign Proper Dog was brought into the UK and restored by Justin's late father, David. Hard points underneath the wing for rockets. Now these are not rockets in the excessive sense of the term. The L-19 was not designed to be offensive as such. Ability here, Justin is coming past in a very slow flight. Down at the back, allowing very, very slow flight.
along the way that are actually more than just balloons full of flour. Take a look. <laughs> Neville, Chris being Mrs. Neville. <laughs> and I noted in the notes here that it says that it's Dennis Neville and Trisha Deer Neville. I don't know whether that's a term of endearment or he thinks she's expensive. <laughs> so, Trish is the... Uh, same what look at that for accuracy. Not easy for the Tiger Moth, I have to say. That's the out. <laughs> Here comes Dennis in the chipmunk. Oh, that's angle of attack. Oh, oh, oh. Sweet smile, girl. Watch this now, angle of attack, right? There's a sock. Stick the nose on. Oh, no, it's not going on doing flowering yet. Stick the nose down. Let it go. Oh, these it's bombs have been exploding. They're counting bombs. Right? I think they're just to prove that they can get it. Look at that. This is like World War II. Oh, look. This is a few weeks. <laughs> it's worth doing one. Oh, yes. oh, nice and slow. Oh, ready for, ready for the limbo. Dennis Neville, a past master of this. Oh, it's a fire washing line. Over the fence. Not to be on top the same washing line as before, though. No, this is a completely different one. This looks like polar ball. Oh, that's Tom Stamper. <laughs> and here's Trish in the Neville. It's Trish Neville in the Neville room. You're losing the block of the car. Oh, not hard. Not hard. <laughs> that is far too complicated for me. Hey, don't get regionally with me. <laughs> right. What? Over? No. Let's put it over the head. Yep. Anybody stealing a car in the room next year, not to leave it parked on bricks, but on foot. <laughs> Two, one, look, yes, oh, one, yes. Nice. Done. Oh, no, you took it. Over the head, and that's good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come up to 400 feet. Must think there's a little dip in the section of the room. That's hard to catch. Yeah. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Yeah. That's the Queen of Now that's nice, Now we're talking. What? It comes with the Neville. Right. Anything she can do? Got it. Excellent. Over the head. Over the head. And yes. Like it. What? That works. You can ask yourself a question. Where are they practicing? A phone? In the back row, maybe? I think they use a PC. Please come. Just lay down there, mate. Wanna fly over? Very much. Sometimes the size is bomber. Let's get that connection, master. Yeah, baby. Oh, they're doing well on this now. They're doing a rocket thing. Got my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you, do. Mine's one more. Now there's a challenge. Come on. I'm not sure what the game is, but come on. Come on, get a loose one. Then I'm going to do it like a man.
<laughs> Doesn't know whether I got all that on there. Pleasant sounds with the Chenko radial. That's the cue port. for sponsoring and making all this happen. Mark Jeffries is electric in this aeroplane, the extra 300. Falling back through its own smoke. Oh, Drew Opie hasn't had a full lunch. The extra is an exceptional aeroplane, and that Mark, Mark made it into the top ten of the World Aerobatic Championships this year, which is a phenomenal achievement. We'd like to thank the people of Little Grandson Village in the area around because the practice that he needs to put in, you know, is going to be a little interesting. stationary up there. Look at that. That's almost a helicopter. And now the fall. Oh, 
final pass given away from a fly, from a world champion. Mm. I've been thinking of the world war. We start a no fight. As the glider is coming, two being pulled by one plane. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an air raid. There is the enemy. Oh, well, nearly. And these don't sound as though they're flower bombs. I should quickly say, ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing is a French-built Messerschmitt BF 108 a four-seater courier that preceded the 109 but that wing, that tail, it's got the menacing look Scenes like this could have happened in the Western Desert right away through 42 Target of opportunity they call it Now that's an interesting method of delivering bombs Here he comes again, Rob Metcalf, Actung CAA. <laughs> Good lads. Bit of practice. He's coming no, back in again. Well, now well, please well, don't well. take the fire engine out. Well, that's... Get the plane on him. Where, oh where, his allied air cover. 
Here he is, Peter Teichman in the P40. Come on, mate. Oh, look, a smoke ring. Brilliant. That's fantastic. As agile as a Messerschmitt 109 would be, but he's certainly got the element of... Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Western Desert is being raised to the ground. Uh, Peter's pulling away. Now that is low. Strapping fireman, that is not allowed. Maybe they've stopped them. Uh, we've got reinforcements coming in. <laughs> this is a very, very good moment to thank everybody at this air show that's looking after your safety. Ambulance, fire, air traffic, the lot. Wave at Peter, he's feeling insecure. such that up there he can see 20, 20. Peter's seen the measure spit off, but he's hanging around in case he's needed as a, a fire assessment witness. Here he comes, folks. 
Thank you.